free stuff. I just want to talk to you guys about maybe one of the biggest things you'll ever do in your life or the biggest thing you won't ever do in your life. Every decision you make, you choose to make today or you choose not to make, will definitely affect either your future success or your future failure. Three things I want to talk to you about today. And I'm going to call this the three P's of the path. The path to your dream or the path to success or the path to where you want to be in life. I was talking with a school official and he said to me, he said, you know, seven out of ten kids, they're on free or reduced lunch, which is an indicator of what the actual poverty rate of Coleman County is. And if you're on free or reduced lunch today, that's not me hating on you. That's not me doing anything like that. But some of you guys, I know that ten out of ten of you guys, you have dreams, you have goals, you have aspirations, right? Now listen, that may sound like I'm hating, but I'm not. Because when my mom was working 90 hours a week at a plant in Gadsden, where I'm from, that's all she could afford. But my mom worked and she taught me how. And she taught me how to get up out of something bad. She taught me how to take a negative situation and to turn it into a positive situation. And some of you guys, some of you guys are coming from situations that right now that you absolutely can't control. When I was 19 years old, I gotta be honest with you, I was having a crappy year. I graduated, that was good. But that was about all that was good. I was working this job, I was a janitor. And I liked sleep a lot, and I had to be at work at six. Guess who got fired after 28 days on the job? This guy. Guess who bombed his first semester of college, like .0025 GPA? And I didn't party, I didn't drink, I didn't smoke it up, I wasn't that guy. I just, I just didn't have any drive, I didn't have any motivation, I, I wasn't applying myself. I was, I was flat out lazy. The only good thing I had going in my life was this little blonde-headed girl that I dated that we started dating in high school a couple of years ago. And I remember my best friend's dad, Steve. I was just telling Steve about everything that was going on in my life. And somehow, you know, Steve, I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do better than my parents. I'm not really excited about where I'm coming from. I'm not really excited about what's going on in my life. Steve said to me, he said, John, you can't do anything about where you're at right now. But he says, John, you can do everything about where you are five years from now. So you can't do nothing about where you're at right now. So let me ask you this. Where do you want to be five years from now? 